solving crimes by recreating them at a federal laboratory in Maryland. Setting things on fire is all part of the job. Our Greg Argos traveled to Maryland for an exclusive behind the scenes look at how investigators work to crack the biggest arson cases in our region. Multi alarm blaze rips massive through flames coming this from the building. This is a targeted attack. Deadly explosions. Viewer video shows a car engulfed in flames. Mysterious bombings. The search is on for whoever built this explosive device. And fatal fires. A floor collapse, trapping it. Firefighters rushing people out. All cases we've seen in our region over the past three years. That's video of a blast that was heard from miles around a Montgomery County home. And when the investigation is too large, because of the complexity of the scene. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives step in. You get to a facility like that and uh, you wonder how a fire uh, could have gotten that big and so fast. The scene is processed and the investigation goes into overdrive, all inside this nondescript, highly secure building tucked within what appears to be a featureless industrial park. You're standing on the floor of the large burn room. Welcome to the ATF's Fire Research Lab in Beltsville, Maryland, about two hours from the city of Brotherly Love. At peak heat release, Brian Scott Grove is a fire engineer at the facility. In this space, we're burning large structures, large items. So we've done multi story compartments, uh, different commercial structures, a lot of structures that involve fatalities, rack storage and warehouses, large vehicles. Evidence from at least six different cases in our area has been sent to this lab, including the still unsolved 2016 Center City mail bomb case, 2018's Old City four alarm fire, recently deemed arson, the fatal Westchester retirement home blaze, and the deadly car explosion case in Allentown from the very same year. Allentown was a national response team call out. Electrical engineer Michael Abraham was one of the first members of the NRT on that scene. For the Allentown investigation. We reconstructed the vehicle so that way we could see how uh, it looked prior to after the blast. This facility has multiple secure labs where evidence, often fragments from explosions and fire cases across the country, are shipped in metal cans and examined. We have a forensic chemistry lab, forensic DNA labs. But what makes this facility so unique is the ability to recreate crime scenes and perform real life tests. Such as this one, which shows how fire travels depending on the materials in the room and what doors and windows are open. It's done in a space large enough to build three story structures, one of only a few such facilities in the entire world. This room is huge. Uh, it's able to, to take and absorb a lot of energy. It has hoods and exhaust systems able to divert smoke from the area and a central command center used to monitor every aspect of a fire. Interior cameras capture each moment until they succumb to the flames. We test and retest our theories until we're confident in the outcome. Those outcomes can help answer the how of a fire or explosion and lead to an arrest of the person responsible or exonerate the innocent. That's what drives us every day is to know that we help keep the community safer and we help to answer questions and give closure to families as best we can. In Beltsville, Maryland, Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Absolutely incredible.